Hey guys, if you love muscle cars, you're gonna love this video because I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina with three really interesting muscle cars. First is the brand new 2021 Dodge Challenger Super Stock. That is, of course, a two-door muscle car. If you look over there, the white one, that is, of course, a four-door muscle car. It is the brand new Charger SRT Red Eye. And behind me is the one you've all been waiting for. Yep, that is a three-row muscle car because that, of course, is a new SRT Hellcat Durango. So let's start by doing a quick walk around. I'm gonna give you some numbers of the Challenger. All right, so let's talk about the important numbers. First and foremost, this basically is a Demon, well, without the Demon badging because it's got the Demon wheels and tires. We're looking at drag radials, nittos. This car is set up to drag race. It only has, get this, a top speed of 168 miles an hour and that's because it's limited by the tires. So in this car, if you put it in track mode, what you're doing is setting it up for the drag strip. 807 horsepower, which is crazy. The zero to 60 time is 3.5 seconds, and the quarter mile time went from 10.8 to 10.5. Now, if you're wondering how much it costs, well, you're gonna pay quite a bit for that, starting at $79,595. Uh, and that, of course, is a lot of money, but it is a lot of horsepower. So let's go over to the four-door muscle car, the Charger. One thing I want to say, Dad, Tommy behind the camera, so this actually has one less horsepower than the Demon. So the Demon has 808, and then if you have the race gas, you can jump that up to 840, but it has 18 by 11 inch aluminum wheels, and they actually had to make the brakes smaller in the front compared to the Red Eye, but once again, this is a drag racing vehicle, not a circuit vehicle, so they say that is plenty of brake to stop you. That allows a bigger sidewall and those drag radials. All right, now what about the Charger, the four-door muscle car. Uh, Dyde says this is the fastest four-door, well, probably is four-door muscle car that you could buy with a top speed of 203. Oh my God, that is quick. Now it's not limited, of course, by the tires because this one is more of a track setup, but nevertheless, 797 horsepower, 707 pound-foot of torque. Uh, and you're wondering what's new for 21. Well, of course, the fact that it's a wide body red eye. Why don't you give him a walk around, Tommy? Now visually the 21 Charger Red Eye has a different hood. We've got a different hood design. This is of course a wide body so it sits three and a half inches wider than a standard Charger. And the Red Eye means that it has more power than the Charger Hellcat. Dad, why don't you tell them about some of the specs? Yeah, the top speed like I said is 203 miles an hour. Now we're looking at a quarter mile time of uh, 10.6 versus 10.5 on the two door. You're also looking at a zero to 60 time of 3.5 seconds. They've done a lot of interesting things. They've added uh, that functional hood scoop, uh, which of course adds uh, the new uh, SRT chiller, which is a way to actually cool down the engine so that you get more power. Uh, we've got, uh, we've gone to bigger brakes, 390 to 400 millimeter rotors, six piston, of course, Brembo's on this bad boy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking to take your family uh, the church on Sunday at 203 miles an hour. I can't think of any other car. <laughs> so almost 800 horsepower, over 700 pound-feet of torque, and some interesting things they told us. We actually have three different air inlets for the engine. We've got the main scoop there on the hood. We've got one here by the headlight, and then one in the fender as well. Now let's go over to an interesting model. This is the Durango SRT Hellcat. Oh no, sir, you are wrong. It's the SRT Hellcat Durango. Let's oh, I'm sorry. Did I mess up the order? <laughs> That's right. Uh, and by the way, in case you're wondering uh, how much the uh, Charger costs, it's uh, 70595 starting MSRP. And of course, here for the 2021 model year only uh, because of, well, I guess emissions, uh, you're looking at the brand new Durango. Top speed, Tommy. There you go. Of 180 miles per hour, zero to 60 in 3.5 and a quarter mile of 11.5 seconds. So basically a second slower than the other two um, muscle cars that we have here. Now we're looking, of course, at, well, the uh, fastest three-row vehicle out there. I can't think of anything that's quicker, right? 
yeah i mean not in terms of top speed 710 horsepower it's got 373 axle ratio i'll just do a quick walk around here x pipe exhaust four inch tips um, there's a resonator underneath that's actually just there for mounting the exhaust, but it's actually a, a straight through pipe. Front end is different. We have air inlets instead of fog lights. Um, headlights are narrower for 2021. The Durango has a new interior for 2021, much more horizontal. You'll notice a new 10 inch touchscreen display. The SRT here on the steering wheel glows red if you get a Hellcat. It glows white if you get the standard SRT. Yeah, let's look at this. I mean, you know, you connect 5.0 with things like uh, Alexa connectivity, uh, wireless charging, wireless uh, Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, uh, eight speed transmission. I mean, it's a very nice interior. Toggle and switches, look toggles yeah, now. New, new toggle switches, and it should be. For a starting price of eighty thousand nine hundred ninety-five, Tommy, that is uh, you know a serious amount of change, but I don't think there's anything else that really directly competes with this. Can you think of anything? Not really. There's, no, there's really no AMG or Audi or even a BMW M. Well, maybe uh, like the GLS actually. The yep. AMG that has six hundred and some horsepower, but right. this is over 700, 710 and 10 horsepower. And they yeah. got the extra three horsepower compared to seven hundred seven by increasing the red line and increasing the upshift times. Now the quarter mile is eleven and a half seconds. It's NHRA certified. Uh, and 2021 only, which is pretty wild. So if you want this uh, Durango, I'll show you the rear. Yeah, show them the rear. Show them the rear seats. Let me let me actually jump in there. Three row, of course. You know, if you're going to use this as a family vehicle, we should make sure that it's got room in the back. Now, keep in mind, Tommy, this will tow. Get this, 8,700 pounds. Oh, oh, not a good shot there, Dad. Sorry. Uh, not bad though. Pretty comfy back here. All right, you know? I, I'm going to show them the back of the yeah, vehicle. Don't show them the back of me. No, not the back of you, that the back of the vehicle. So this is rolling on 20-inch wheels, 295, 45 ZR20s in the rear. In the back here, Durango, the four badge, all-wheel drive, single speed transfer case, so no low range. You can see the four-inch tips. It's got the X-pipe underneath. Well, I really, think, pretty cool stuff. I think that's a pretty quick look at the... Uh, two-door, four-door, and three-row muscle cars that Dodge is bringing in 2021. Now, we are going to get to take these on the track, so this has kind of been just your first look. And Tommy, if you had like 80K, which of these three would you get? Would you get the, like, the, the drag strip car, the track car, or the family hauler? Oh, definitely the family hauler because the Durango, it turns out, is almost $7,000 less than the Jeep Trackhawk. So, good value as well. Well, there is your first quick look at the new Dodge lineup. Yeah, and thanks for joining us. Remember, come back to TFL Car for more news, views, and of course, independent and honest reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao. So we're going to be driving them next, and we are running super late, and I feel terrible about it. So we're going to run. Let's go, Dad. Bye.